It's high school basketball tournament time on WSCS TV 8. WIAA regional final, Sheboygan North and Sheboygan South. This afternoon, tournament basketball is brought to you by the local Piggly Wiggly stores, the kitchen and bath by Kim, Penn's Oil, 10 minute oil change, Keekly Furniture, American Family Insurance by Badger Optical, the Medical Arts Group by Wisconsin Betting, Played Against Sports, the Log Cabin Inn, Security Travel, Absolute Sound and Vision, and by Capital Investments. Hello and welcome to the uh, Sheboygan North Gym. I'm Steve Lauder along with Jeff Thorn. And uh, Jeff, this afternoon, the third matchup between uh, North and South. We've talked about it, uh, we talked about it last uh, Tuesday night with uh, uh, South and Manor to walk. We looked forward to it really a week ago with the, uh, the second North-South matchup. But this one has got to be the absolute toughest for South. Well, I tell you what, for South, the biggest, the biggest tough part about this is the fact that they haven't had any success in a win column against North. They come in here 0 for 2, and uh, this is really it for them to uh, try to do it. They put in a new wrinkle last week, one of which some of us were completely wrong about. Uh, that wrinkle worked to a certain extent, but the outcome was the same. South has been playing well. They got to come in here and play very well again. They got to hope that North is off a little bit. They got to be able to take advantage of some of the things that they can do in order to win this one. Otherwise, 0 for 3 on the season with North. And uh, I know there's a lot of guys on that South team that don't want that to happen. Yeah. One, of, one of the biggest things, you know, I mean, coming in here to play North in its own home gym, basically in its own home crowd, even though it's pretty even. I mean, the, the tickets were pretty well split up, and it's, it's, it's a pretty even uh, bipartisan crowd. But the thing about it coming in here is that North seems to have a little bit more consistency in its games than what South does in the two matchups. Yeah, there is a little bit of consistency, at least along the lines of scoring. For the most part, the people that you look to all day through the season have been doing the job. But the thing that is so tough for South to have the defense is the fact that there has been one or two people that have stepped up a little bit more in each one of their meetings. Todds and Boko in one meeting, Schreinmeier and Renzelman uh, stepping forward a little bit more in another meeting. That gets awful tough to stop. Who will step forward today is the big question with North. We'll take a look at uh, very quickly the, uh, the bracketing and uh, the winner of this one will play the winner of West Bend East and Fond du Lac. There you see that's the bottom half of the, uh, the Oshkosh sectional lineup. And that West Bend East Fond du Lac matchup is uh, really key for that sectional. Well, I'll tell you what, everything looks at it right now is though it will be Fond du Lac that comes out of there. This really sets up a sectional where three of the four teams that are going in there would possibly, possibly, it always upsets to be had, but could possibly have been in the top five at one time or another throughout this whole season. That sets up a very tough sectional, but everybody's got to get past today. You don't want to look past it at all. Well, let's go ahead, and we're going to get uh, this one started here. Sheboygan North and South Regional Final tip-off coming right after this. American Family Insurance would like to remind you of all the reasons for choosing one insurance company over another. The most important reason by far is the service you receive when you really need it. Choose wisely. When you come to one of these American Family Agents, you've come to the right place for life. Welcome to Absolute Sound and Vision, Sheboygan's newest and finest audio-video specialty store. Designed for shopping ease and comfort, each sound room is sized and furnished in a home-like atmosphere. The home theater is a sensory experience in sight and sound. You won't find walls and walls of mediocre merchandise, but the finest quality, highest value stereo components, speakers, and video products available. Exceptional service and satisfaction guaranteed. That's the absolute advantage. Absolute Sound and Vision, Town of Sheboygan Business Park. Ever since Martha was a little girl, there was something different about her. Hey, mister, are you done with those skates? She had this fascination with other people's sports equipment. Hey, 
When you guys are done, can I buy your stuff? It never really made sense to me until one day... Hi, I'm Martha Morris, founder of Play It Again Sports. Bring in your old sports equipment and we'll buy it from you. We sell used and new equipment, too. I'm so proud. Oh, Mom. At the Medical Arts Group, health care is not just a product. It's people caring about other people. We provide the high quality personal care and advice you demand. The dedicated staff at the Medical Arts Group provides care for the entire family for a lifetime. The Medical Arts Group, located just east of St. Nicholas Hospital on Superior Avenue in Sheboygan. Keekley's for a lifetime assurance of quality in Norwalk furniture. Featuring custom covered sofas, sectionals, sleepers, and chairs with 700 fabrics to select from. Keekley's offers 30 day delivery and the lifetime warranty. Right now, Keekley's has sofas sale priced from $599. Keekley's, 1202 North 8th, downtown. Back here at uh, the North High Gym, and uh, we'll get the introduction of the starting lineups. We'll give them to you uh, as the uh, they are introduced. And uh, from the uh, appearances, South will be listed as the home team. They are in the uh, white uniforms, which would be uh, the uh, the home uniform. I have to make sure about that, but I, uh, I, f I forgot to ask Red about that before. When I was yeah, you almost pocket. tend to uh, assume a little bit yeah. as uh, the tournament time comes that uh, this is North's home floor, but South could be home tonight. They're going to get the uh, entire. This is a little unusual. Uh, usually they, uh, they only do the starting lineups. But maybe, uh, you know, this being north-south again, they'll, uh, they'll run it all the way through. Give you the starting laps anyways. For south, it'll be number 21, a 6'4 senior, Chris Simmons. Number 25, a 6'2 senior, Kyle Gebler. Number 33, Chris Staple, a 6'3 senior. A 6'4 junior, number 41, Kevin Herbert. And number 44, 6'2 senior, Mike Rank. And... Uh, Jeff, uh, looking at the uh, the scoring between the two games from South, the two really that that just jump out and glare at you are uh, Gebler and Staple. Both of them uh, non-existent in Game One, coming back in Game Two a week ago, just lighting the place up. Well, uh, in the case of Gebler, uh, the first game was a total nightmare for him, being thrown out of that game by uh, an official who. Probably lost more poise than Kyle did, uh, but he came back and had a fine game and really made a lot of difference in the uh, second game as to how what South was doing and how successful it was for them. Uh, Chris Staple, the first game was after uh, again after Gebler went out was just a nightmare for everybody. Uh, nobody shooting well and everything like that. Uh, second game for him. They got him out on the perimeter a little bit more. He was able to start his game out there, and he started off shooting very well from the perimeter. And uh, I think uh, with Staple, like Mike Rank, you have to get him into the game early and get him some scoring right away. Taking a look at the uh, North High starters, it will be number three, a six-foot senior, Brad Balco. Number 25, a 6'2 senior, Mark Schmidt. Number 31, Chad Renzelman, the 6'1 senior. Steve Dahmer, a 6'3 senior, wearing number 35. And 6'8 senior, number 51, Nate Schremeyer. And uh, there's, a uh, again, a big contrast between games one and two on the, in the scoring column for Schremeyer. Uh, Nathan just took charge of that second half last Friday night. Well, in the second half last Friday, both Kevin Herber and Chris Simmons were in a little bit of foul trouble. Uh, North sensed that kill and went right after it, getting Tremeyer the ball down low. In the first game, he was kind of it was kind of an outside game for North. Uh, Boko shooting uh, with 17 points, and, uh, and Eric Collins with 21. The game was going to the smaller guys that time around. So I, it's going to be very interesting to see which way the game is going to shift 
for uh, the north side today if it is going to be an inside game or if it's going to be uh, on the outside. For south, we know they've got to have balanced scoring. We know they've got to have uh, uh, rank and uh, staple step forward and have big games for them while Simmons and Herber have uh, uh, games that are pretty much around their average. Standing room only here in the North High Gym. We are underway, and it's controlled by South. This is Rank. Bring it up into the court. It'll be Simmons from outside. Score two for Chris Simmons. And South is the guest on the scoreboard. Renzelman, long range, three, count it. Renzelman has been one of those that's been consistent within both games. He scored 18 in the first, 13 in the second, and uh, he was uh, just as good from the outside both times. The outlet pass, staple too high off the uh, glass. Herber takes it back up and gets two. North down quickly, Schmidt doesn't get it. Simmons with the rebound, outlet staple. Back out, Schmidt with the steal. Threw it into the front court, it goes out of bounds, nobody could get to it. 4-3, South with the lead. Simmons gets it into Gebler. Double team in the backcourt. Get it up to rank. Stolen by Schmidt. Got it to go down and a technical. Now the big question is, is will the basket count? The technical is gonna be for hanging on the rim. He pulled that down. No basket. He's wiping the basket off. So that's a technical on Mark Schmidt. That also uh, goes against his personal foul total. Mike Rank will come down to this end to shoot free throws. Big turn of events right there. You get the steal. Now, wait a minute. Now, are they going to come back and say it's going to be good? The basket is going to be good. Coach Destel there wanting to know what's going to happen after the uh, after the free throws by Mike Rank. Will they go back and uh, jump it up, or will they give it to South? Rank misses the front end. That's the second one. It will be South Ball at midcourt. We're tied at five, 6.58 to go first quarter. Well, that's not as big a turnaround as that could have been. Oh, Schmidt five. with an open uh, floor and a jam could have turned that baby around real quick. Foul's gonna be on Steve Dahmer. On the sideline, Simmons gets it to Gebler. Schmidt on him defensively. Gonna get a double triple call on Kyle Gebler. Turn it over. That's a pressure by Mark Schmidt. Gebler got him, got it, got away from him, but uh, got two hands on the ball. Schmidt for three, rings it. Rebound comes off to uh, Simmons. Simmons will bring it up. I think you'll see South stolen by Brad Bolko. Gets two. Seven five, North by two. Bad pass, Bolko up with it. To Schmidt, got the shot up. He's gonna get fouled before the shot. Kevin Herber gonna pick up the foul. And North on one of those runs that uh, we didn't see come along until the third quarter the last time around. South not taking care of the ball very well. Schmidt inbounds to Renzelman. 
Schwemeyer strong to the basket. 9-5, north by four. 6-10 to go, first quarter. Electricity in the air, you can just feel it. Simmons on the drive. Beautiful pass by Gebler. Spotted him, led him very well. Renzelman, top of the key, no. Rank with the rebound, foul's gonna be on Steve Dahmer. Both of them went up together, and Dahmer will get the body. That'll bring Adam Osipowski in. Dahmer with two quick fouls. Twin Towers for North. Osipowski and Schreimeyer. Simmons just getting it in, stolen by Bolko. Two for Bolko. Bolko just wrestled that ball away from Staple as it came on in and put up the shot pretty much it all in the same motion. Gebler has it taken away. This is Schmidt again. He'll get it, no. Traveling call. No basket, traveling call on Mark Schmidt. And I think if that official had been turned and watching, he could have got another technical on him. Pete Peterson wants a timeout with 5.28 to go first quarter, 11-7 North. American Family Insurance would like to remind you of all the reasons for choosing one insurance company over another. The most important reason by far is the service you receive when you really need it. Choose wisely. When you come to one of these American family agents, you've come to the right place for life. There you see Coach Tom Desitel and the Golden Raiders of Shawarga North. They lead it 11-7. And uh, Jeff, Des and Tom came off that bench quicker and faster than I have seen him in a long, long time. Well, to say he was a little dissatisfied with the officiating on that traveling call is an understatement. <laughs> you take a look at it, Schmidt, two steps. No, he waves it off. He says the steps, I don't know, too big? <laughs> Nonetheless, there's two things to watch with that. If Coach Destel doesn't like the player, the player isn't on the floor anymore. Schmidt's still on the floor, so it was an officiating call that he didn't like. Whistle foul from behind is going to be on Ozapowski, I believe. Right in front of us. Good call. I think Adam got him a little bit with not only the body, but on the arm a little bit. Hand was on the ball, but also on part of the body. Kevin Herber, 13 points in their first matchup this season. Rings off the second one, Ozapowski with the rebound. 11-8, north by three. 5-10 to go, first quarter, batted around. Herber comes up with the loose ball. Nice defense by Rank, he got back down and uh, got a handout on that pass coming in. Herber down to Staple, turnaround. No, batted around, Ozapowski with it. Well, Adam doing extra work just to get that rebound. He had a lot of contact with Simmons getting that rebound in his possession and uh, then turned around, still had a little bit extra on him and uh, threw that one right past Mark Schmidt. The inbounds pass from Simmons goes over the head of Kyle Gebler. It'll turn it right back to North. Eric Kahn's checks in for uh, Ozapowski. South still with their same starting five. A little bit of nerve still in there. Everybody wanting to do everything just right. Got a little bit extra on every pass, and uh, you see him flying a little bit wild. Schreimeyer trying to get it down to uh, Balco, knocked out of bounds by Simmons. Tried to sneak that one in through the back door. Simmons got a hand out. Mark Schmidt will pull the trigger. Renzelman on the pop. 
Wasn't even any time for anybody to react on that one. The pass came into him, he came down and went right back up with it. Cons with the steal. Rank for three from the corner, got it. Another big turnaround there. You had a steal going the other way. North doesn't get the uh, basket. Turnover by South and three the other side. Renzelman leaning in, whistle foul. It's gonna be offensive on Chad Renzelman. Simmons the inbound. 14-11, North by three. Staple throws it right into the hands of Mark Schmidt. No dunk that time. Just gonna go up and lay her on in from that side. Credit Bolko for uh, a little assist on that steal. He was coming down court and uh, Staple didn't see him. Simmons for three, no, Schremeyer rebound. Schmidt, dump off to Ozapowski for two. Renzelman on a steal. Schremeyer gonna get called on a travel underneath. 18-11. Kevin Herber coming off to the side. I think he caught an elbow in the side of the face. Jet will bring Joey Hennon in off the bench. Well, he's grabbing the mouth. Uh, like he and uh, he and Schremeyer have been battling. Well, they then, uh, did the traveling on his turnaround towards the hoop, and uh, he must have had an elbow out. Hennon has it knocked loose by Renzelman. They say Renzelman was out of bounds. <laughs> quick Action hands. Very quick, hot and heavy. Yeah. Quick hands by Renzelman that time. Boy, he just flipped it out there and got a piece of that ball, knocked it away from Hennon. Got it into Hennon, foul's gonna be on Eric Kahn's. Both these guys seem to have some uh, pretty quick whistles. Well, I'll tell you what, you get a full house like this, an inner city game uh, tournament, the action, the action just started off uh, with a shot and hasn't slowed down yet. These guys have try, gotta try to get some kind of control before this one gets way out of hand. Gebler gonna get called for a three. Oh no, we're gonna get a three second violation on, uh, I believe that's gonna be Simmons. I would have thought there was gonna be a travel on the outside too. It looked yeah. like uh, Kyle slid the foot. Here's Schmidt for three. No, Schremeyer. Cannot allow him to get into that position at all. Get it ahead to Gebler. There's a trouble, and he knew it too. This North defense is really uh, making South, or turn the ball over, making them press to do things. Well, there's a difference between what South is doing now and what happened a, a week ago. South came out a week ago very fluid in their running and uh, really had everything going well for them. Schmidt for two. Today though, it looks as though they're trying to force some of the stuff they're doing and they're not exactly as comfortable with an up-tempo pace game. Ozapowski will pick up the uh, foul. You took a little shot in the jaw there too. <laughs> it's two shots in the jaw. There's Dennis in town here gonna be watching this game with added interest. <laughs> South in the bonus. Chris Staple at the free throw line. Chris scoreless here, believe it or not, it's only the first quarter. Rings off. North doubling it up, 22-11. Balco, Renzelman. That's nine already for Renzelman. We wondered how this game was gonna take shape and right now it looks like it's taking shape on the outside with Renzelman. 
Howers now in the ball game for South. Joey Hennon, the junior, holds. Back outside is Mike Rank. Rank from about 16 off. Balco with the rebound. Renzelman, top of the key. Back iron. Rank rebound. Gets it to Howers. Got to get South. Got to get some fluidity, some uh, consistency. One shot, and that's all they're getting. Traveling call is going to be on Mark Schmidt on the outside. It'll bring in Dave Richter, Kyle Gebler, and uh, Kevin Herber back in. Eric Kahn's in for North. Minute and a half left, first quarter, 25-11 North. John Howers to Hennon in the corner rank. They'll work back to the outside. Hennon has it blocked by Ozapowski. Get it ahead to uh, Kahn's, no, put back Ozapowski. Great job by Ozapowski, not only running the, floor, but running the floor, but when he got down there, he had nice control on getting that rebound first. Powers. Some question as to whether he had gotten in the front court. I think he got both feet down. Gebler. Tell you what, uh, Herber and <laughs> Schremar really banging it. Rank can't get in and in. Here comes Richter. Behind the back dribble, he gets uh, shoved from behind. It's gonna be on Joey Hennon. They turn around and give that one to Herber. Herber, okay. South actually starting to show just a little bit of frustration here. They're not shooting as well. They're not getting that ball into the hands of the people that they had been able to last week Friday. You take a look down, Gebler hasn't even had anything close to a shot to score yet. And Mike Rank, only a three-pointer and a, a free throw right now. I think they got to start concentrating on getting the ball into those two hands. Dave Richter, first one is down. Gets two, 29-11, 26 seconds and counting. First quarter, Gebler with the dribble, gives it up to Herber, Herber and Schreemeyer. Here's a Herber, nice move by Kevin Herber. Oh, that was real nice. They haven't seen uh, Kevin able to do a lot with the ball in both of the meetings that they had this year, but uh, he's got a couple of offensive moves that he can use. Gebler will shoot it from 18, get it for three. <laughs> Needed him in the game somehow. 29-16, North leads, quarter one is done. Christmas can solve your Christmas giving puzzle. Coins, cards, and comics are today's most popular hobbies, and Capital has the area's premier collections. Hard to find U.S. coins, ancient coins and artifacts, gold and silver coins, and unique Disney coins and collectibles. Sport cards and pendants enough to complete any collection. Limited edition comic books and all kinds of hobby supplies. If you're not sure what your favorite enthusiast wants most, choose a gift certificate from Capital Investments, Memorial Mall Sheboygan, Forest Mall Fond du Lac. At Security Travel, we take the worry out of your travel plans. We do the work for you and your family or group, and there's never a fee to the traveler. From a weekend getaway to Las Vegas, to two weeks in exciting, exotic Hawaii, we're here for you, Security Travel. Two locations, the First Star Bank Building in Sheboygan and at the shops at Woodlake and Kohler. Put your trust in Security Travel. Part of the uh, standing room only crowd here in the North Gym on this Saturday afternoon. Sitting next to us, uh, Frank Regas from the uh, 
Sheboygan Press, also the uh, Sports Information Director. Lakeland said South committing 13 turnovers in the first quarter. Gebler can't get it to go. Schremeyer getting uh, into the land. It'll uh, be knocked out of bounds and stay with North underneath their own basket. Two straight times, uh, Schremeyer gets the ball and puts it on the floor. Two straight times, it gets knocked away from him. Uh, you look at the South Brain Trust, uh, Pete Peterson, Gordy Zastro, and Tim Crowns. There's Renzelman long range. Dahmer with the rebound. I'm going to say the ball hit the basket support. So it'll come to South. Simmons gets it to Staple. Gets it on the glass and gets two. Chris Staple finally getting into the scoring column. Schmidt double team gets it into a Schremeyer. Nathan just using that 6 8 frame, getting it over the front of the rim, get a traveling call. Again, the turnover. The Raider defense is really adding extra pressure on Kyle Gebler. They're not allowing him to stay out in the open floor and run the offense out there. I think they think that he may be a small weakness in being able to handle the ball under pressure, so they're really going after him today. Schmidt goes to Dahmer, back out to Mark Schmidt. He'll start a drive, a little fade away. Doesn't get it, Dahmer fighting the three guys ranked. Dahmer going to the floor. Gonna get a foul called. It's gonna be on uh, Steve Dahmer. I'm gonna say Dahmer took uh, rank to the floor. I thought the wrestling tournament was over. <laughs> two for two for a takedown, one for a takedown. And since you bring that up, some congratulations to be handed out. Probably uh, the earlier wrestler, or, uh, area wrestlers, including one right here out of North. Rank missing on the free throw. Ozapowski. Six for Ozapowski. 33-18. Staple will take a long range. No, Rank with the rebound. Ozapowski reject. Knocked loose, it'll come to South. Gebler long range. Gets three. Mike Rank hanging with that uh, play down here at this end. Ozapowski got the block, tried to pull it down, and Rank stayed right, right with it. Got the uh, turnover. Gebler on the breakout. Nice job by Kyle, keeping that body between him and Renzelman. Chad tried to get all the way down around in front to slap that away, but Kyle kept a shoulder blocking that off. And South on a little run. 33-23. Foul underneath, I think that's gonna go on to Mike Rank. I say Mike Rank uh, was pushing on Nathan Schreemeyer. Let's, let's look at Tom Desitel and uh, Ron Rudolph. Eric Kahn's will come in. Uh, Brad Balco will get a uh, breather. Well, now there's something you don't hardly see. Mark Schmidt throwing it over the head of a six foot seven. Ball player. Oh, he lobbed it up there nice and soft. Was uh, thinking Adam was going to step back at least, and Adam tried to jump up and get it. Simmons gets it into Gebler. Trying to get, go with a uh, bounce pass. Stolen away. Here's Schmidt. Boy, can this kid jump. My, oh, my. Coming back the other way. Rank with two. Got the ball ahead before the North pressure could set up. To Schmidt. Boy, you can't even look down to uh, mark your paper. You know, mark the score down. Things are going so quick. Rank for three. Short. 
Gets it back, comes into the lane, gets two. Right now, they're just hang it, hacking at each other right now, going with it. Everybody taking their turns, and as uh, soon as somebody lets down a little bit, you get your turnovers. Right there, Eric Kahn's couldn't find anybody to get it into, got himself moving forward, stepped over the line, turnover. Gebler coming into the lane, doesn't get the layup to go. Battle, Gebler's gonna get the foul, reaching on David Wick. You look out on the floor right now, and South is the bigger of the two teams out on the floor. North coming in with uh, Wick, Schmidt, Kahn's, Renzelman, and Bolko out there. This is the 6'1 uh, the to 6'2 group. <laughs> Renzelman, long range, no, batted around. Herber comes away with it. South with Herber and uh, Herber, Simmons, and Hennon out there are definitely the taller of the group. North is going to try to outquick them. Chad Renzelman picks up the foul. Kyle Gebler will check in at the charity stripe. Eight for uh, Gebler in the first half. One of them a prayer at the end of the first quarter. Schreimeyer and Ozapowski back in. South's got that lead back now under 10. Gabler gets them both. 37-29, north by eight. 4.40 to go, second quarter. Balco in the corner, Cons out on top. Cons will take it for three, no. Balco with the rebound, fade away, no. Schmidt underneath. North doing some work on the boards. They get a little more height in there, and uh, right away you can just see the boards start to go north way. Staple can't get it to go. Outlet pass, too long. Get a traveling call on Gebler. He'll turn it over. Kyle's mad at himself. It seems every time he turns around today, there's somebody right in his face. Powers and Rank back in. Gebler and Hennen will sit. And really, that's a good move to get to Kyle out of there right now. He's really frustrated. Balco with the dribble. Comes out to Cons. Under four minutes, 39-29. Schremeyer getting into the lane. They're gonna get a double dribble call by the underside official. No idea how I could even see the play. <laughs> Awful lot of legs in the area there. But Rank will take it against Schreimeyer, not get it, but <laughs> Schreimeyer picks up the foul. I think only because he was in the vicinity. <laughs> Better a couple, rough couple minutes here. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Rank back at the free throw line. Somebody's opened a door around here. All of a sudden we got some cool air coming in. Nine for Mike Rank in the first, first half. Make it 10. Mike almost uh, at his total two game output. 39-31, north by eight. Three and a half minutes to go, first half. Kahn's long range three, no. Ozapowski with the rebound. Back to Schmidt, he'll take it in the lane, give it up to Oz. Couldn't handle it, Kahn's with the steal.
Simmons the inbound to Kevin Herber, back to Chris uh, Staple. Simmons will take it from 17, no. Schreimeyer rebound. Traveling call by, uh, turn it over, it'll come to the south, right in front of the north bench. Rank for two. Schmidt with the dribble. 39-33. They'll swing at Balco in the corner. Trying to get it to Cons. He came up with it. Foul's gonna be on Mike Rank. Dangerous uh, pass that time. Tried to skip it over the top of the south defense. Rank gonna pick up that foul after he almost had a near steal. This, this game has been full of uh, little things like that. The almost turning into uh, not exactly what you had planned. Schmidt down to Ozapowski. Challenged by uh, Simmons. Schmidt gets it back up. Foul's gonna be uh, on Kyle Gebler, I believe. That'll send Mark Schmidt to the free throw line. Boy, and how they couldn't have called a uh, held ball on that one with Ozapowski down there. That was complete pin by uh, Simmons. Thirteen first half for Mark Schmidt. Gets two. Gebler with the dribble. In the corner is Herber. Back outside, Johnny Howers. Renzelman on him. Give it up to Herber. Got double teamed. Tried to get the pass out. Schmidt picks it off. Fouls on Nathan Schreimeyer. I'll tell you what, foul's gonna be on Schreimeyer, but <clears throat> the real blame on that one's gotta go to Schmidt. Schmidt uh, should know better than to try to dish a ball off to uh, one of the bigger guys. Should have just, uh, he was deep enough, he should have just taken it right to the hole. Well, he left the ball out to Schreimeyer, and Nathan was still out around the free throw line. You don't want to give your big guys the ball there. He should have just stepped back, pulled it out, waited for the big guy to get down underneath. Now, this is not going to be called a player control foul. This is going to be called as after Nathan after, got rid of the ball. Right. John Howers gets into the scoring column. Powers, 5'11", senior guard, gets two. 41-35, north by six. Ozapowski to Balko, into Schreimeyer, to Schmidt. In the land of the Giants, got two. Clutch play down on the other end. Nice pass by Schreimeyer to the weak side. Schmidt coming down the baseline, and I don't know how he's able to control that ball up and in, around like that. He got the foul on Simmons and still got it up and in. Schmidt trying to complete the three-pointer, and does. 
44-35. North by nine. Powers, Herber, two. Nice feed from Johnny Howers. Bolko holds, back outside is Renzelman. Alley-oop down to Ozapowski gets two. Howers back out to Simmons, he'll swing it around quickly. It's one of those spots I think where uh, Howers got to take that shot. Here's Simmons on the baseline, falling away. Schremeyer with the rebound. Tough place to be for Simmons, getting down underneath there. Nothing but four arms sticking up over his head with Ossipowski and Schremeyer. Renzelman for three. No, Ossipowski kept it alive. Schmidt, nope, gets it back. Foul's going to be on uh, Kevin Herber. And a real little advised foul. Herber going to pick up three just before the half now. Now bring Frank Soick in. Uh, Frank will see his first action of the uh, ball game this afternoon. Mark Schmidt at the free throw line. Mark having a career first half. Eighteen first half. Make it nineteen. Forty-eight thirty-seven north by eleven. Soik back outside is Howers. Staple. Frank Soik top of the key. Simmons losing the handle. Ozapowski gets it back to Schmidt. That was all Ozapowski, man. He got a hand in there, tipped it away, and then went down to the knees and tried to, uh, or and got control of it. Nine seconds and counting. Cons out to Schmidt. Ozapowski slammed for two at the buzzer. It's halftime, 50-37 North. Fresh as morning, friendly as laughter, a good neighbor close to home. Weekly, 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 fresh, friendly, and close to home.
Not everything in a little girl's life should be soft and fuzzy. It's important to have a child's vision tested, and Badger Optical makes it a quick, pleasant experience. The optometrist will utilize state-of-the-art diagnostic technology, and if a vision correction is in order, lenses are ground to prescription, and a wide selection of fashionable frames restores perfect vision in just one visit. Badger Optical, Memorial Mall, Sheboygan. Call for your child's appointment soon. Well, good morning. Hey, you changing my oil every 3,000 miles? Not exactly. At Pit Stop Quick Lube? Well... Take me today. They use Pennzoil products for performance, protection, and quality. At Pit Stop, they'll change my oil and lubricate. They'll perform service accessory check on me and change my air filter. They'll wash my windows and check my tire pressure. Get the picture? So why have we waited so long? I wonder. Pennzoil 10-Minute Oil Change Center, 1328 Indiana Avenue, Sheboygan. A good mattress helps you sleep better, feel better, and look better. That's why Wisconsin Bedding Company handcrafts each mattress in their Sheboygan factory using only the highest quality materials. You'd expect to pay hundreds more at retail for such quality, comfort, and durability. Wisconsin Bedding features a full line of home and hospital bedding, plus custom designs and specialty items, all at factory direct savings. Mattresses and box springs so comfortable and durable, they're guaranteed up to 20 years. Wisconsin Bedding Company, Indiana Avenue, Sheboygan. At the Medical Arts Group, health care is not just a product. It's people caring about other people. We provide the high quality personal care and advice you demand. The dedicated staff at the Medical Arts Group provides care for the entire family for a lifetime. The Medical Arts Group, located just east of St. Nicholas Hospital on Superior Avenue in Sheboygan. Back here at halftime where uh, North leads it 50 to 37. And uh, Jeff, a couple of streaks by uh, North uh, has kept them out in front of this one. South making kind of a run there in the second quarter, but just not able to get back enough. Well, South settled down a little bit in the second quarter, which was uh, something they definitely needed after the first quarter with all the turnovers. They got themselves back into a little bit of a rhythm in the second quarter and uh, were able to uh, start chipping away at North's lead. North, though, uh, with the uh, Mark Schmidt show going on out there, though, has just been able to keep that lead at around or just over 10 points, and then uh, finishing off the half, putting on that little spurt to pull it out to the 13-point lead we got now. Now you take a look at the uh, south uh, huddle. Leading scorer in the ballgame, Mark Schmidt with 19 first half points. Mike Rank leads south with 12. Tell you what, Mark Schmidt's had himself a very adventuresome first half. Drawing a technical for hanging on the rim. A couple of traveling calls that uh, he, he thought differently of, but still came out with 19 points. Rank missing on the three. Off the hands of... Uh, Chris Simmons went and signed a few autographs while he was down in the corner over there. Schmidt the inbound underneath North Basket. Bolko outside is Renzelman. Schremeyer in the lane, turnaround, little six footer. Simmons going one way with the pass, Gebler going the other way. South will call a timeout immediately. 7.32 to go, third quarter, 52-37, North. For a lifetime assurance of quality in Norwalk Furniture. Featuring custom covered sofas, sectionals, sleepers, and chairs with 700 fabrics to select from. Keekley's offers 30-day delivery and the lifetime warranty. Right now, Keekley's has sofas sale priced from $599. Keekley's, 1202 North 8th, downtown. In the background, you hear the uh, pep band of uh, Sheboygan North. Rocking and rolling as they uh, usually do here. 
causing havoc with us is what it's doing. <laughs> Can't really tell what each other are saying while they're playing. But. <laughs> Renzelman in the corner. Work it back out to Schmidt, he calls the play. Renzelman will take it and hit it for three. Four three baggers for Chad Renzelman. And that yeah. north pressure is really doing a great job. They're fronting everybody, trying to keep the ball away. Balco, acrobatic, no. Schremeyer fighting. Saved back in. Mark Schmidt came up with it. Whistle foul is going to be on Mike Rank. That's going to be three on Mike Rank. Mike showing a little frustration there. It's got to, it, it, it's frustrating to see these guys go at this. Ball's going out of bounds. Saved back in by Dahmer, just trying to get it off their feet. They barely get away from the ball, and it goes right into Mark Schmidt's hands. The other thing, too, uh, Rank was calling it. Uh, he said he, uh, he had all ball. Oh, well, Schmidt split between uh, Rank and Simmons coming back up in there, and uh, I believe if they called anything, it was called as a body. Schmidt gets two. 57-37. Tell you what. Gebler losing the inbounds pass. South has either got to get the ball down court or the inbounder's got to start moving along the baseline. They can move over there. they got to start using that. Mike Rank for three. South definitely needed that basket there. 59-40. Renzelman in the corner, Balco. Chad will take it. NBA range. Gebler gets it to rank, gets two. Schmidt with the dribble, 62-42, 6.09 to go, third quarter. Renzelman must, must be feeling it, because boy, I was somewhere between the circles. Well, you get a license to shoot when you can feel it. You can <laughs> shoot from the outside like that. Gebler with the miss, gonna get, a, gonna get him on a reach in, on the rebound. Of course, if you're, uh, if you're Chad uh, and you do have that license to shoot, as soon as you miss a couple of those, your license gets revoked. <laughs> or at least suspended for a little bit. <laughs> this is Eric Kahn's back out to Renz. Inside, Schremeyer trying to feed Dahmer. And South not able to get the break going either. Schremeyer, nice fake, got the ball up. It's going to be on Kevin Herbert, and he knows it. Kevin That's Herber, four. Uh, also Kevin Herber. Herber. He's also going to go ahead and sit down for a little while. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah. Joy Hennon going to check in. There you go. Nate Schremeyer at the free throw line. Schremeyer, of course, uh, already committed. And he will be going to the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee to play basketball next season. UWM looking for a NC 2A spot this year, Jeffy. What do you think? I think their uh, schedule is probably more of a hindrance than a help. <laughs> but it's a tough it's a tough road for small colleges like N uh, UWM trying to get into that. Staple long range three whistle outside. It's going to be on cons and going to give Chris Staple uh, three free throws. A problem that a college like that has got is uh, 
the bigger colleges will play them as long as they can beat them. But until as soon as they beat somebody, well, that's a different story. Then all of a sudden, power ratings come up, and uh, that's why you wind up with the uh, no-name colleges playing each other. Staple misses the first one. Got a pair coming. This is turning into a very rough afternoon for Chris Staple. Nothing out of three. Schmidt looking for Balco on the run. Must have thought he was throwing another one for Ozapowski. Gebler gets it, gets it across the uh, timeline. Back outside is Simmons. Simmons has it stolen by a Dahmer. Ahead to Schmidt, lost the handle. Simmons will inbound. Chris Simmons has to call a timeout. Could not get the ball inbound rather than turn it over. Five minutes left, third quarter, 64-42 North. At the Kitchen and Bath by Kim, we can give your traditional kitchen a new look with just cabinets or the 100% custom design you've always dreamed of. How about the sleek elegance of a new contemporary style? The Kitchen and Bath by Kim gives you more personalized surface to help make your dreams a reality. The Kitchen and Bath by Kim, 1202 North 8th in the Keekley Building, downtown. Hey, take a look at the scoreboard. 64-42, five minutes left in the third quarter. And uh, most everybody standing. Uh, this is kind of a, this is really weirdy. You look at the crowd here, Jeff. The both student sections are standing. Both parent sections are seated. Been that way all afternoon. And some of the parents who uh, got into these student sections are standing. <laughs> they have to. I'll tell you what, if you weren't here bright and early this morning, you didn't get yourself a uh, spot in line for one of the better seats. Long range from Mike Rank. Well, Mike Rank is having a great game. Picking up the slack uh, that South is feeling from Staple not being able to, to get it going today, but South is really going to have to start pumping the ball up and in. I think Rank might have gotten a piece of that, too. Cons comes up empty. Get it ahead to Rank in the corner. Got it for three. Nope, nope. they're going to say two, two on that. Okay. Official down on the baseline. Had the better view as to where his feet were. 64-47. Schmidt talking to the official as he's dribbling. <laughs> what a floor general. He's probably telling the official where he should go stand. <laughs> Ball knocked out of bounds by uh, Chris Simmons. Renzelman uh, checks back in for North. Mark Schmidt will inbound. In the corner is Renzelman. Schremeyer in the lane. Little scooper. 66-47, 3.50 to go, third quarter. Gebler trying to dump it off uh, to Hennen. Saved inbound by Renzelman. Off the rhythm, no. <laughs> Schmidt. I'll tell you what, this game is coming to Mark Schmidt so well today. He got dragged out of there by Kyle Gebler. Gebler had a, ball, had a hold of his hand. And that ball still managed to get in his hands. Gebler missing on the three. Trying to swing it to rank. Some frustration sh showing uh, on uh, some of the uh, South players. The frustration's coming from not shooting as well as uh, they had hoped to. The outside shots are not falling down for them and uh, 
that is uh, really starting the frustration right here. Kevin Herbert checks back in for South with four fouls. Johnny Howard's also in the ball game for South. Ozapowski in for North. Renzelman from 18, rattles the rim. No, knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with North. Ozapowski on the alley-oop, no. Dahmer gets fouled as he gets, well, was back up with the rebound. It's gonna be on Gebler, that's four on Kyle Gebler. It's gonna bring Jason Bischoff in off the bench for Coach Pete Peterson. Dahmer, second free throw is good. Howers with the dribble. Gets it across half court. Herber on the wing. Howers and Schmidt battling. Howers comes up with it. Off the foot of Adam Ozapowski. Joey Hennon to inbound. Herber will take it from 15, come off wide. Really forced that one. He's trying to get himself into the game some way or another. Balco from long range. Dahmer, look at a fight underneath there. Ozapowski can't get it. Dahmer, Balco, Schmidt. <laughs> Finally, a whistle underneath. And I think that's going to be Herber coming out. It'll be five on Kevin Herber, and unbelievably, the way uh, North went underneath there. A lot of contact on both sides. Watch the fight. This is Dahmer after his first uh, rebound. He comes back, gets that one. Contact there again. But, of course, this is Mark Schmidt's game right here. And... <laughs> Nobody gets a foul until he touches the ball and then they'll send him to the line. Kevin Herber finishes uh, with seven. But remember, Kevin Herber's just a junior. He will be back. I don't know whether you've noticed it, uh, Jeff, but it seems though uh, North has shot free throws extremely well today. They it's, have. That's been one of their Achilles tendons. They've yet to miss. Over the years. And they uh, are putting this one away. 15 of 15 for North from the line. Two minutes left in the third quarter. 72-47. North uh, firmly uh, in control. Renzelman with the dribble. Got rank on him. There's a couple of guys that look like they could uh, battle each other for a while. On the inside, it's Schreimeyer. Bischoff ahead to rank, gives it to Hennon, gonna get called for the travel. Chris Staple back in, Jason Bischoff will sit. Kyle Gebler back in, yeah, I think you, if you're uh, Pete Peterson, you gotta get these guys back in, get some shots up, see if you can get back into this thing. Slowly slipping away. <laughs> 5.30 to 
Foul's going to be on Chris Simmons. Well, he and Nathan been battling away underneath there. Contact both ways. And those two are actually having a good laugh about it out there. Balco, little scoop shot, no, gets it back. A little too deep. Foul this time is going to be on <laughs> Schremeyer. And a good call. Nathan came in from behind. Actually got away with a shot before that. <laughs> Simmons has it taken away by Eric Kahn's. Ball loose on the floor. Get a traveling call on Mark Schmidt. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it was looking like it was getting ugly. <laughs> so you might as well call something, I guess. Nobody had a handle on that ball. It was moving right along in the air with everybody. And uh, Mark Schmidt. Rank, top of the key, three. It's four threes for Rank. Under a minute, third quarter. Renzelman, this end. Gets the long rebound back, threw up the prayer as he was going to the floor. If I'm not mistaken, I was seeing some blood on uh, Renzelman's arm. Got some kind of a mark on his arm. Ozapowski right will arm. check in for uh, Renzelman. Now we can see his, uh, it's on the other arm. It's on his uh, left arm. Pardon me, his right arm. His right arm, yep. Just noticed it there and. Schremeyer with a steal. Who says a guy 6'8 can't dribble the basketball? Well, I'll tell you what, that's how much the North Press has been bothering South today. That time, Schreemeyer, 6'8, is on Gebler as he tried to inbound the ball, and Schreemeyer comes away with it. Rank Rainbow 3. That is a pretty looking shot. That was right from in front of us. Uh, there wasn't too much of a question. Ozapowski takes one in the eye as he goes up. And uh, just asking for a towel. Don't know if he wears contacts or anything like that. Yeah, I guess he does. No, I think they're looking. I think he, he felt like he got cut. We'll have a uh, quick stoppage here. You see, his eye is really red. He took a shot. Inadvertent, you know, I mean, there's so many things that can. Uh... I don't know if they're going to. Uh... Let him shoot the free throw. It looks like they're going to take the time. Uh, one second left on the third quarter clock. And uh, Jeff, this has been the quarter where North has really made the surge. Could very well be there <laughs> looking for a contact in there. They, they may be. I'll tell you what, you know, and Mark Schmidt having the game that he's having, who's holding that bag down over there? He's even assisting the doctor <laughs> down that way. And there is some question out on the court as to uh, whether they should allow him to uh, take that much time. And uh, and now it looks as though they're here, they are going to put somebody in for Adam Osipowski to shoot the free throws. And it will be, uh, who else? Guess who? Mark Schmidt. <laughs> Find out, I'm going to have to find out from him if uh, this is some kind of arrangement here. <laughs> I 
What do you who do you credit this to? Ozapowski or Schmidt's gotta go to Schmidt, he's shooting them. <laughs> Gebler launches it, no. Three quarters are done, 78-53 North. Investments can solve your Christmas giving puzzle. Coins, cards, and comics are today's most popular hobbies, and Capital has the area's premier collections. Hard to find US coins, ancient coins and artifacts, gold and silver coins, and unique Disney coins and collectibles. Sport cards and pennants enough to complete any collection. Limited edition comic books and all kinds of hobby supplies. If you're not sure what your favorite enthusiast wants most, choose a gift certificate from Capital Investments, Memorial Mall, Sheboygan, Forest Mall, Fond du Lac. At Shoneman's Log Cabin Inn at 633 Madison Avenue in Howard's Grove, we're waiting for you. Elegant family dining in a unique log cabin atmosphere. We're open seven days a week for your dining pleasure. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. At Shoneman's Log Cabin Inn, we're waiting for you. Steve Dahmer will inbound to start the final eight minutes. They've taken Adam Ozapowski into the locker room. Richter works on the outside to Schmidt. Look at this lane. Wow, it just opened wide up. Mark Schmidt driving a truck right through it. Gebler for three, short. Schmidt to Richter. Richter into the lane, no. Simmons, outlet to Rank, Mike Rank. Mike Rank on a little bit of a tear of his own right here. 18 points in the second half for Rank. Also happens to be the same amount of points South has scored thus far in the second half. 18 straight for Mike Rank. Schremeyer powers it up. Uh, even had time to sit, uh, stand back and think about what he wanted to do there. South not reacting very well on defense. Rank, he had Balco in his face. I think uh, Brad got a piece of it. Foul's going to be on uh, Johnny Howers. He'll send... Uh, Brad Balco, the free throw line. 6.51 left in the ball game. North leads it 82-55. We've got a timeout. This week, shop Piggly Wiggly and Save You Foods, where the savings come fresh, friendly, and close to home. Save on the freshest fruits and vegetables, the freshest meats and deli items, and the freshest bakery items. In fact, every morning at Piggly Wiggly and Save You Foods, we bake your favorite breads, rolls, and sweet treats right at our in-store bakery. They don't come any fresher. Piggly Wiggly and Save You Foods. Fresh, friendly, and close to home. There you see some of the uh, South High faithful, some of the South student, student section. Of course, every seat in this gym uh, sold out. It's not very often you get a uh, crosstown uh, rivalry game like this played in one of their uh, home gyms. Well, that's something we really didn't uh, think of in the pregame as to whether this was really a, a home court advantage or not for North. I guess it is a little bit more because South really doesn't play in here. Right, During exactly. The, uh, regular the, the rims are different, you know, backboards are different. Both games that they play uh, inner city are down at the armory, so. Balco, one of two. Kevin Zwitter in for North. Gebler overlay. Simmons couldn't get the rebound down either. Things just not 
working well for South. And that kind of afternoon, they came out with high expectations, thinking that they had solved part of the problem with North, and uh, things have just been taken away from them. Dahmer into the lane, no. Balco couldn't get it. Mark Schmidt's gonna pick up the blocking foul on John Howers. And Tom Desitel wants another timeout here with 6.19, 83-55 North lead. At Security Travel, we take the worry out of your travel plans. We do the work for you and your family or group, and there's never a fee to the traveler. From a weekend getaway to Las Vegas, to two weeks in exciting, exotic Hawaii, we're here for you, Security Travel. Two locations. The First Star Bank building in Sheboygan and at the shops at Woodlake and Kohler. Put your trust in security travel. There you look at the uh, North High student section, at least a part of it. Our floor camera being run by Rich Bartson. Our eye in the sky, Fritz Zank. Jane Marat's running the truck along with Ben. Rank coming up a little short. Zwitter looking for help, gets it from Schmidt. Schremeyer in the lane, little scoop. North in a sense it kind of really Widen the floor out that time, adding everybody but uh, Schreymeyer around the top of the three-point circle, and uh, when they were able to feed it into him, left a lot of room there. Staple long, long three, no. Simmons with the dribble, gives it to Staple. Howers will take it for three from the corner and get it. I just thought John Howers should be shooting more anyway. Schreemeyer, Rank gets him going to the hoop. Four on Rank. Nathan Schreemeyer at the free throw line with 20. He and Mark Schmidt have led the way along with five three-pointers from Chad Renzelman. Schreemeyer, one of two. Rank for three, got fouled. Balco will pick it up and Mike will shoot three. Eighty-six fifty-eight North with the lead. Looks uh, like we'll well we'll, we're going to Oshkosh next week for sure. We'll do that one coming in. Do it coming in. <laughs> yep. And we're, we're going to see uh, probably. Uh, Sheboygan North taking on, it looks just on paper like it would be Fond du Lac. It would be a big upset if it wasn't. Um, Fond du Lac is a very interesting team. It's going to prove to be a, a fairly decent matchup. Not only uh, are they ranked or were they ranked at the end of the season number four, But they actually have two teams uh, within that one team. They can go real big in size, or they can go small and quick. Yeah, they got the uh, the muggers and the runners. Saved by uh, Dahmer, rank with the steal. 
Got it on the rim, can't get it to go. Knocked out of bounds, it'll uh, go to North. Say it's off of Mike Rank. Four and a half minutes left in this one, 88-59. Switter holds, starts the dribble, calls a play. Gets it to Schmidt. In the lane, look at this. Going to get called for a travel. The crowd has finally let up on this, on this, uh, these officials. I mean, this, this game's over with, basically, except for the final score. And the, offic the uh, officials have heard a uh, earful from both sides this afternoon. Balco on the glass. Outlet to Gebler, here's Staple, will take it for three, come up way short, Hauer saves it. Gebler missing on three. Kevin's Wood are gonna get called for a travel, foot slipped before he could get anything going. Ozapowski will check in for Schremeyer. Oz is back, 319 left in the ball game, 90-59, we get a timeout. Everything in a little girl's life should be soft and fuzzy. It's important to have a child's vision tested, and Badger Optical makes it a quick, pleasant experience. The optometrist will utilize state-of-the-art diagnostic technology, and if a vision correction is in order, lenses are ground to prescription, and a wide selection of fashionable frames restores perfect vision in just one visit. Badger Optical, Memorial Mall, Sheboygan. Call for your child's appointment soon. <laughs> North uh, cheerleading squad, guys and gals. Uh, I don't know, somebody opened up a, uh, I don't know, somebody opened up a bottle of fruit juice or something? Boy, I, no, I wasn't, I don't understand what that was. There you see, uh, again, some of the uh, South High uh, student body. Bischoff, baseline drive, dumps it back outside. Got uh, five new faces, Josh Johnson, there's Bischoff. Soick, Fredrickson, and Rob Nasey. This is Nasey from the baseline. Eric Wara for three. Nasey just hangs onto it. Augie Oldrich in for North. Bischoff. Johnson, uh, Oldrich taking it away in the corner. Schmidt hustling back. Ozapowski couldn't handle it. Wara gets it back to Ozapowski and gets two. Bischoff will get fouled long range. Balco will pick it up. Let's see, Sam Pratch, David Wick, and Matt Miller check in for the Raiders. Ozapowski, Balco, and Mark Schmidt will sit. Schmidt getting, these guys getting a pretty much of a standing ovation. And I show Schmidt ending up with 31 on the day. That's what I got. Then it's final. <laughs> no need to look in the paper tomorrow. <laughs> 
92-61. Two minutes and five seconds. Wara to Miller. A little short, Miller and uh, Soik. A held ball, alternate possession. We'll go to South. I think that's the first one of those we've had this afternoon. Johnson, the junior. Nasey will take it from 18 and hit two. Rob Nasey, a junior. Wara coming baseline, dumping it to Miller. Whistle foul underneath. I think Fredrickson's going to pick it up. Kyle Moore checks in for South along with Mr. Excitement. Sly Van Stratton. The only guy I know that picked up a foul while sitting on the bench. <laughs> Wara missing on the free throw. Takes talent to do that. Moore. Short on three. Wick will run the point for North. Pratt, Wara, Miller gets two. Fredrickson in the lane. He and uh, Miller battling. Fredrickson gets it up and gets two. David Wick. It back to Miller. It gets double teamed. Foul is going to be uh, either on uh, Moore, pardon me, Nasey or Fredrickson. Fredrickson will get that. <laughs> Dave Richter in the ball game for North. Take a look down the other end of that North bench and uh, Ozapowski sitting there with an ice pack on that eye. Matt Miller with two. Under a minute. Moore with the dribble outside. Van Stratton for three. No. Dave Richter. He'll take it for three. Fredrickson gets it to uh, Johnson. Josh on the run. Little scoop. Nothing doing. Outlet. Richter. Wara with the loose ball. He'll turn around, air ball it. Things a little uh, helter-skelter <laughs> right now. Kyle Moore for three. 96-68. Wara won't get the shot up, but North uh, continues on with a 96-68 win over South here in the regional final. So North is the regional champion. We're going to take a break, total things up, and come back here to Sheboygan North. Ever since Martha was a little girl, there was something different about her. Hey, mister, are you done with those skates? She had this fascination with other people's sports equipment. Hey, when you guys are done, can I buy your stuff? It never really made sense to me until one day... Hi, I'm Martha Morris, founder of Play It Again Sports. Bring in your old sports equipment and we'll buy it from you. We sell used and new equipment too. I'm so proud. Oh, Mom. 
Welcome to Absolute Sound and Vision, Sheboygan's newest and finest audio-video specialty store. Designed for shopping ease and comfort, each sound room is sized and furnished in a home-like atmosphere. The home theater is a sensory experience in sight and sound. You won't find walls and walls of mediocre merchandise, but the finest quality, highest value stereo components, speakers, and video products available. Exceptional service and satisfaction guaranteed. That's the absolute advantage. Absolute Sound and Vision, Town of Sheboygan Business Park. At Shoneman's Log Cabin Inn at 633 Madison Avenue in Howard's Grove, we're waiting for you. Elegant family dining in a unique log cabin atmosphere. We're open seven days a week for your dining pleasure. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. At Shoneman's Log Cabin Inn, we're waiting for you. At the Kitchen and Bath by Kim, we can give your traditional kitchen a new look with just cabinets or the 100% custom design you've always dreamed of. How about the sleek elegance of a new contemporary style? The Kitchen and Bath by Kim gives you more personalized surface to help make your dreams a reality. The Kitchen and Bath by Kim, 1202 North 8th in the Keekley Building, downtown. Well, good morning. Hey, you changing my oil every 3,000 miles? Not exactly. At Pit Stop Quick Lube? Well... Take me today. They use Pennzoil products for performance, protection, and quality. At Pit Stop, they'll change my oil and lubricate. They'll perform service accessory check on me and change my air filter. They'll wash my windows and check my tire pressure. Get the picture? So why have we waited so long? I wonder. Pennzoil 10-Minute Oil Change Center, 1328 Indiana Avenue, Sheboygan. Futon, a noun meaning functional, flexible, fashionable, first class, family, fun, firm, frame, futuristic, friends, formidable, frolic, flattery, friendly, forgiving, and affordable. Futon, fully fabricated by Wisconsin Bedding Company and sold at Factory Direct Savings. Come see the fantastic facile Frugal Futon at Wisconsin Bedding, Sheboygan's finest. Back here at North High after uh, Sheboygan North comes away with an impressive victory in the uh, regional final. I'm being joined by Mark Schmidt and Brad Bolko. Mark, let's start with you. 31 points on a day to say the game was coming to you. Uh, kind of an understatement. You said you really felt it out there today. Yeah, I felt really good. We had a good week. Of, this is probably our best week of practice all year since we've, you know, coach been really honest. And I think we really came out in our press. I think our last game. Our press wasn't working. We readjusted our press to what they're doing, and it really works. Let's talk about that a little bit. You looked as though you were denying the ball to the people coming in, trying to get in front of them on the way, and it looked like it worked pretty well today. Yeah, it's kind of like it's man-to-man, -man, but it's more of a matchup. So it's more of a matchup zone, actually, like right off from the beginning. And once we once they get the ball in, then we try to get our traps in, hopefully pretty good. Last game, we didn't get any traps, but I think this game we got the traps, and they're just throwing the ball right into our interceptors right up the line. So. All right, offensively, uh, the ball coming to you as it's supposed to, running the show. But today it was more on the scoring end. Um, it looked as though you were trying to pass it off, but it kept coming back to you. <laughs> Can you explain that? Well, I know the greatest game last game. I think they're just giving me it. You know, they're giving me the shot and they're giving me the lane. I mean, they're just denying our uh, Schreemeyer and Ozzie and Dahmer down low, and they're giving them me the shot. So, you know, got to take them. All right, you guys uh, trip back to Oshkosh. Anything to prove over there after last year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> on the other side, Brad Balco, uh, we talked about the pressure that you guys had put on at the game that you played against South. Uh, the last time out, it took you guys until about the third quarter to really pull away. Today, you guys came out and were really on top of them right away. Was it important for you guys to get out there and get them down early? I thought it was important that we jumped on them right away. That our pressure was tough. Last game, first half, our press just wasn't there and this first half today we jumped on him right away the other thing that we uh, had noticed today uh, that we don't want to call it a sore spot but you guys went through the first half I believe you're even your first 15 16 free throws 
everybody who's shooting well in free throws. That usually doesn't happen. You guys uh, have practiced a little extra on that this week? Yeah, we had tough practices this week. Co coach got us more focused, and we're in our home gym today, too, so that probably had a little to do with it. All right, uh, last question here is something throughout the whole season. You go through the season ranked number one. You get into March now. Everything gets tossed out. How do you guys deal with that pressure of having been told you're the best all the way through the season and yet having to know that only one game and you're done? That's exactly right. I think that uh, we just got to take it one game at a time and play our best and always be up. Don't overlook anybody. All right. They got a return trip over to Oshkosh, and uh, their first game uh, in all intents and purposes should be Fond du Lac. Anybody with any thoughts on Fond du Lac? Yeah, they're a good team. You know, we're just going to have to really big. I think we'll match up pretty good, though. I mean, we got our big guys. They got their big guys. It should be a good game. All right. We'll see them over there next week, Friday. Until then, uh, thank you, gentlemen. Nice game today. Steve, back over to you. Hey, here I are. Okay, very quickly, uh, run down the scoring for you. For uh, Sheboygan South, uh, got here by virtue of beating a man at a walk uh, last week and uh, falling today. 96-68, uh, they were led by Mike Rank, a terrific game for the senior for his final game. 31 points for Mike Rank. Congratulations, that's the way to go out, buddy. Uh, 10 for Kyle Gebler. Uh, two for Rob Nasey. Five for Johnny Howers. Three for Kyle Moore. Chris Simmons, four. Uh, as we said, Gebler with 10. One for Jason Bischoff. Chris Staple with two. Uh, seven for Kevin Herber, he fouled out and a two for John Fredrickson. For uh, North, and there you take a look at head coach Tom Desitel. They were led by uh, Mark Schmidt with 31, 21 for uh, Nate Schremeyer, 15 for Chad Renzelman, 12 from Adam Ozapowski, nine from Brad Balko, four from Matt Miller, two from Steve Dahmer, two from uh, David Richter, 96-68, is your final and of course north will be uh, traveling and playing in oshkosh on uh, next week friday night we have no idea what time uh whether it be the first game or the second game we will be there so if you can't make the trip over uh you know you'll be able to see that one uh, anyways tournament basketball has been brought to you by your local piggly wiggly stores the kitchen and bath by kim pennzoil 10 minute oil change keekly furniture your local american family insurance agents by Badger Optical, the Medical Arts Group, Wisconsin Betting, Play It Again Sports, the Log Cabin and Restaurant, Security Travel, Absolute Sound and Vision, and Capital Investments. For the rest of the crew, I'm Steve Lawner. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you in Oshkosh.